Dan Bacalow was in town, the Dundee Stars were in town and if ever a man was to lead his side, Dan Bacalow was on a Wednesday evening. He was to be outstanding, as was that man, Frank Doyle. Absolutely rock solid and unbeatable. The Sheffield Steelers were ready for the quarter-final of the Challenge Cup first leg against the Dundee Stars. You know who waited, the Nottingham Panthers in the semi-final. What more incentive did the Sheffield Steelers need? And right off the bat, the Sheffield Steelers came with intent. You want to ask somebody? Ask Rory Rawlock after Stephen Gertson ran him. And then ask Karishki after Di Casmero ran him. That was the first shift of the game and the Sheffield Steelers were setting the tone. Great pass from Siriani to Maya, but if you thought that was a good pass, look at this one. Maya to Laguie, he shoots, he scores, the Steelers are on the board. Laguie, Maya and Siriani at 2.46, and the Steelers were one up. A great breakout, a great play. Siriani's pass inch perfect to Maya, Maya's inch perfect to Laguie, and Jeff Laguie doesn't miss from there. Steelers one up. Sheffield continued the assault. And in the second period, five minutes in, Siriani first with the shot. Stefan Meyer works hard behind the net, but this was the play. Mark Thomas keeps the puck in, shoots one, rebound falls out, and the Bulldog finds Fatter. Fatter shot, tipped by Siriani. Steelers double their advantage. Mark Thomas doesn't get an assist, but it was his play, keeping the puck in, keeping the pressure on and forcing the puck out for Hewitt to give it to Fatter. Fatter shot, tipped as I say by Siriani. Backler for the high stick? I don't think so. Neither did Tom Darnell. 25-02. Steelers led by two. It wasn't all Dan Backler though. Frank Doyle was simply marvellous on a Wednesday night. He made save after save. 21 in fact for uh, his shutout in this challenge got first leg. <clears throat> The Bulldog line, outstanding. It was up against Dundee's first line all night. Not only did it didn't concede, it scored. And it scored a huge goal. That goal, Jason Hewitt. First in 19, monkey off your back. He can have a shave now. Jason Hewitt's goal made it three at 31-13. As I say, that third unit for the Sheffield Steelers played against the top line of Dundee all night and contributed. Spencer with an assist, Phillips with an assist, Jason Hewitt, the Bulldog scores, Steelers lead 3-0. It was too much for Jeff Hutchins, he decided it was a timeout time. Tried to regather his troops, but the Sheffield Steelers were ready. Dowd was in, well he was, he was, he was in no way, he was going to miss out. So Dowd tries all on his own, comes out of the corner, shoots, crossbar. Look at this for an effort from Robert Dowd. Beats Backler, hits the crossbar. Third period, the Sheffield Steelers needed goal number four. They wanted to put this tie to bed. Siriani goes close. Backler, one save, two saves. Back out to Dustin Cohn. There, Stefan Meyer. That's number four. 46 18. Meyer shoots, Meyer scores. Is that enough for the Sheffield Steelers? Second leg, of course, in Dundee on Sunday. After the Steelers have played Belfast on Saturday, but this goal from Stefan Meyer could prove to be most valuable. Yes, it's behind you. Yes, we're number one. And the Sheffield Steelers, well, they posted a 21 shot shutout for Frank Doyle. An outstanding bit of work on a Wednesday night. Goals from Laguie, Siriani, Jason Hewitt and Stefan Meyer. A 4-0 victory for the Sheffield Steelers. Frank Doyle jubilant, of course. And so was the head coach, Doug Christensen. He spoke after the game. Congratulations, Doug. That was an outstanding performance and a well-earned victory. I agree. Um, you know what? The team did a great job tonight. Um, anytime you beat the second-place team in the league in any way, um, it's a big night. And to do it the way that we did it tonight, to get a shout-out, to uh, have all three lines contributing, extremely important. In terms of the contest, in terms of the two-legged affair, it's, it's not a game set and match, but it's a nice league to take into Dundee on Sunday, isn't it? Well, it certainly is not game and set and match. You look at the their quality of their goaltender and the league uh, scoring leaders in Sacchetti um, and Palestrone, where they are in the league standings. Um, they've got plenty of offense, but you know what? Um, we did a good job tonight. We can't focus on Dundee until we get through Belfast. Um, but for us tonight, we wanted to be able to come in, play well, uh, keep this ball rolling both at home, but also uh, have our first playoff game, which it was tonight. 
um, and get that feeling that this is what we're going to play like uh, when championships are on the line, and they did a good job. Important to get off to a good start, and Le got you off to the perfect one. Yeah, that pass from Steph Meyer was fantastic. You know, um, that line tonight was our best line, no question. It was the most dominant line on the ice, and, um, you know, they not only scored goals, but they, they carried the play, and that was a, a fantastic pass and a great finish. Man of the match performance from Siriani got the, into 2 0, but then 3 0, Jason Newitt, first in 19. Great monkey off his back. Well, you know what? He's been playing really well recently. Um, so well that uh, his line gets power play time. So well that uh, he's killing penalties. He's getting a lot of minutes. And he's playing confidently and he's doing the little things. And uh, they're starting to recognize how they can be successful. And if they put pucks to the net, um, when the viewers are watching it, they're going to see. Uh, he just drives the net goes to the dirty area and gets rewarded, and uh, that's where he needs to score his goals. You had that Keith Lloyd Garside line in Belfast that you put out against opposing teams' first lines. You're doing the same with that Hewitt's line. In fact, they scored tonight. Hewitt's goal was against their, their first unit. Well, if that line's playing offense and they're in the uh, uh, offensive end against the other team's top line and they're consistently working down low, uh, their top players aren't playing offense, and that's obviously something that's important for us, especially when that allows you to get matchups favorably for you know Sirianni and uh, Gertson and Dowd and uh, you know, top level players like Legui to against maybe against a third line or a tired line, and uh, those guys were able to take advantage of those matchups tonight. How important was the Maya goal as well to make it from three to four? It might only be one goal, but it's a huge difference, isn't it, in terms of a two legged affair, three to four? We talked about that uh, after the third period. So the next goal is uh, extremely important in this series. Changes the complexion of the entire thing because at 3 1, Dundee would come and go home and they'd see, well, you know what, we did a good job. Two goals, that's nothing, boys. Let's, let's go to work. And, you know, four goals, that gives us. Um, you know, uh, the right amount of space that we want to have going there to, to hopefully uh, advance in this uh, tournament. A similar performance against the Belfast Giants on Saturday would be nice, and that's where all our eyes are focused on there. Two hottest teams in the league, no question. Uh, they've got, uh, they are where they are for, for a reason. Uh, they're very well coached. They've got outstanding hockey players. They've got competitors, uh, having known a lot of those guys. They're going to come here looking to slit our throats, and we're going to have to push back and uh, be a fierce, difficult opponent.